Michigan State has thrived on the block in this game. And when Illinois has as well, they've resorted to taking advantage of the block, hitting it just a little bit higher or a little bit off, knowing that it's going to go off of Illinois and give them a hard time trying to return it. Interesting. Spartans going with a little bit of less height here on the attack now. That is very interesting for a team that has thrived on the block. One of those players, Avery Horatio, serves it away. Jessica Nunji immediately there. It looks like that strategy comes right back to bite them. More of what we're seeing on the serves. A lot of diving digs from Milani Osea here for the Spartans. Exactly right. Jessica Nunji noticed the bit of a gap in the defensive rotation there for the Spartans. Put it right where she needed to, and a big point for the Illini extends to the five once again. Terry, Mosher, Nunji, and Burbage alongside Collins and Sakota for Illinois. Very tall lineup, and two of those players combined on the block on the far side. One of the taller players on the floor for Michigan State. And their best one in this game, Rebecca Poljan, getting her 13th kill. Spartans needed that one right there very badly. Very big point for Michigan State to kind of corral themselves, maybe figure something out and get back on the attack again. And again, they're keeping it close. And that's not what they need. No, sir. They have been keeping it within four points. It's gone from three being the mark, four being the mark, to five being the mark now. But that, and that's not a good sign for Michigan State, though. Illinois slowly lulling them to sleep here. And that's not something they can afford to have here in set number four. Again, they've done well mounting comebacks. As that one goes through, Aaliyah Moore starting to get more active. They've mounted comebacks, but it hasn't been enough as Illinois has taken six, seven point leads. They have to keep this close within three or four. They have to keep it within reaching distance where they feel that they can get back into this. If, it's, if it keeps revolving around this five point deficit, it might come back to haunt the Spartans. Soft touch from Mosher. Spartans respond accordingly. Great blocking right there. Nice play to keep that alive, though, from Horatio. Nice play as well there from Diana Brown to respond to that. Another soft touch from Mosher right there to take it, Zoe Nunez. Back up the middle, misplay there from Emma Monks, and that gives Illinois the point. Yeah, rare mistake there by Monks. Only has three errors before that. Now she has four, but Emma Monks with a mistake the Spartans really couldn't afford there back up to the five. That's just kind of, this is just kind of that Ranger talking about that the Spartans are kind of in trouble. Keep it within three, keep it within four, but before you know it, Illinois is up to 18 points in this set. Monks tried to go on the laser right down the middle and it pays off. Too hot to handle for Caroline Barnes. Yep, exactly. Kind of a weird ricochet off the tip there from Candy Collins and Caroline Barnes just couldn't get to it as she wanted to. The Spartans close it to four once again, but let's see how this point goes. This is arguably the most crucial point in this match so far. Monks now in double figures with 10 kills. Once again, Michigan State looking to get much closer to three. And the errors continuing to haunt both teams in this game. That is just, you just can't have that, Spartans. That's just, that's a total killer. Gives the Illini another five-point lead and just not what they need. What a big two-point swing there. Caroline Barnes with the ace dropping like a two-seamer right there. That forces Michigan State to take a timeout. The service errors in these games, in these sets, they've hurt Illinois more throughout the game. But in this set where Michigan State needs it most, it's hurting them more. It's a very interesting dynamic, too, of when it happens, you know. Like in a season, when does the team get hot really defines their season. Same thing in, in games too, particularly whether it's closing out, whether it's when you need to keep it close here for Michigan State. The service errors have hurt Illinois more than, the, more than they have hurt the Spartans, but they're hurting the Spartans at incredibly the wrong time here. It's like a villain in a horror movie. You just can't escape it no matter what you do. Yeah, I mean, you look at this, the Illini have 34 errors opposed to the Spartans only have 29, but it's just the moments that really matter. I mean, look at this, there's six more kills the Illini have, which have given them six more points. It kind of takes away from those extra kills, the, Illini, the extra errors the Illini have. So it's just overall kind of been a balance of 
it's just wrong time for the Spartans to really be causing these errors against themselves. And they're just kind of falling apart, per se, in this fourth set so far. What was the number you mentioned in regards to the last time these two teams played each other? The number eight points, the difference? The number was eight, eight errors. Yep. Exactly, exactly, yes. Eight errors. The Illini won by a total of eight points last Friday night in East Lansing, and the Spartans had eight more errors permitted. The Illini had committed far more errors tonight than the, Spart than the Spartans have, but it has not exactly came back to bite them like it did last Friday. Timing is a lot in this game, as it is in life in general. Another error there, this time from Celine Oshleon. Illinois now up to seven, and Michigan State might be shooting themselves to death here. 